Let's start with uh, Okunronquo. That's a guy that a number of uh, national people feel uh, for the contract and what and the talent that you have and the age. Could be one of the uh, top five, three, four, five signings in free agency thus far. Yeah, he's ascending. I uh, heard, uh, heard a lot of people talk about me. He's only getting better, and I couldn't agree more watching the film. This is his first real action this year where he started uh, most of the season. Uh, he's extremely twitchy. Uh, you watch these uh, cut-ups here. Uh, first of all, he's going to win with his hands. Uh, quick move inside. He's not a traditional DN where he's going to be anchor in there. He's a twitchy guy, a sudden guy, almost like an outside linebacker in a 3-4. Uh, you're going to see him here. He has great pursuit. So he understands football. Uh, again, uh, chasing people down here. This is just an effort play where he's going to run downfield 30 yards and make a play. You're never going to see him take a playoff. He's very impressive. Again, here's where he wins his hands, causes a fumble. Uh, very good, very good speed rush. Works a long arm spin move. Here he just wins the speed. Uh, again, that's his primary move. And then again, just understanding screens. Uh, you know, he understands in the NFL at all levels. If you're unblocked, it's for a reason. Uh, so he recognizes this thing. And this is one of my favorite plays that I got to see him. Just his all-out effort. So um, very good signing by the Browns. Again, he's very twitchy. Uh, I think the number one reason he's with the Browns is he can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And that's what the Browns have been looking for. Uh, he does have to work on setting the edge a little bit, but I think Schwartz will uh, rep that to death. He often lines up in a wider technique, which uh, helps him. Uh, but, yeah, very, very good signing. Um, he's going to be very, very productive for the Browns. 6'2", uh, two, 253 pounds is uh, the measurables on Okunronquo. Um You mentioned the speed that he has. That would seem to me... If you're in a wide nine, that's going to be a long night. If you got Garrett and him on these sides, that's, that, is, that seems like the recipe for some long days for tackles that, are, that they're trying to block the Browns' DNs. Well, yeah, he has incredible get-off. So, again, when you watch his film, there's not a ton of, ton of moves. Uh, he's just extremely athletic, and he kind of reacts to what he sees. So uh, you're going to see him constantly try to win the edge with speed. And in that wide nine, that wide five, depending if it's a tackle or a tight end, he is going to win off the edge first. Uh, if he can't win off the edge, his first counter is that long inside arm. So he's going to get that inside arm with great leverage. And then if the tackle sets in there pretty well, he'll spin inside. and He has a violent spin inside. And it's kind of that same move. He'll, he'll work a little head and shoulders once in a while. But he's very basic in his pass rush. He's just really, really athletic. And he plays with a great motor.